and I just gave him that opportunity and from that I got a powerful message of history right here in the center of Birmingham, Alabama. Like That's my buddy Jesse. And this is Kelly Ingram Park. So let's talk about what happened today. So I don't know, like an hour talk with him. What a history lesson. There he is right there. Unfortunately, <clears throat> he suffered from a stroke um, and he cannot basically do what he needs to do in his life. So he's got like a wheelchair um, over there. You know that's charging so that's good that he has like a, a at least some form of transportation but he's currently homeless he actually grew up with martin luther king in birmingham alabama it it was known for the bombing right there in that church um back in the day i'm not too well with the history um martin luther king's speeches and marches were here in birmingham and he actually grew up in he actually showed me on the statue he grew up with Abraham Woods, Dr. Abraham Woods, a junior chairman, which was the office of the statue committee. And he was explaining that his mom, who's related, I think, to this person, Miss Judy Thompson, Margaret Thompson, who's related to Judy Thompson. And Margaret was a part of the committee, but her name was not put on this statue specifically of Martin Luther King. So I learned a lot of history about this. And he was telling me how powerful it was to see Martin Luther King, and I could see it in his eyes. Um, just it's just crazy to see someone from the past. I feel like I could have walked this entire park and maybe experienced uh, somewhat of a powerful message. But seeing him and being able to hear the stories about Martin Luther King, it's just you're seeing someone from history and you're really getting to experience that part of history in front of your eyes. I mean, yeah, which is why, again, I don't turn down the homeless. I, I, I'm always willing to listen to their stories. You never know what someone wants to tell you. Not everyone's always looking for money. Um, unfortunately, their situation is not always the best. And sometimes they just want someone to talk to or hear. And I just gave them that opportunity. And from that, I got a powerful message of history right here in the center of Birmingham, Alabama. Like, I would have never thought that I would have been able to see that coming here. So there's a lot of things in this park that are cool. There was There's just a huge amount of rich history. And he was saying that in the park, this kind of stuff is very new. He does he does not remember this growing up. So it says here, I ain't afraid of your jail. And then obviously the message behind that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of my moment with Jesse um, here. But yeah, peace, guys. Till next time. Thanks.